Once again, welcome back home and my panelists, gentlemen, Karibuni Sana. This is Y254. We speak to the youth and for the youth, the voices are heard here. Now, for this past week, like I have mentioned, we have been subjected to all manner of comments, opinions from our leaders across board on what they feel about the BBI. And when it was being launched at the Bombers of Kenya, we had misgivings of all the gray areas that were highlighted by our politician. And that is where I want us to begin. Right, right from because we had a meeting in Naivasha where the, the a good number of them they feel like now we, we are on board and of, of course we still have people who feel like yeah we need further amendments to the said report. I want us to begin from the launch. I'll begin with you now Dean. How did you feel in regards to the what was said about the report having maybe partly read from by yourself? I believe um, if you were to look at the launch that uh, particular day, everyone was busy talking about unity, how uh, the BBI is the, way, is the perfect, perfect journey to where the people want to go to. But the moment the DP spoke, the deputy president spoke, and aired his views, which were contrary, he was jeered or booed. Now, if at all we are trying to have a conversation, if at all we are, we are trying to solve certain things that the political class think are patent right now, which I don't think they are, to be honest with you. If at all we want to solve issues, then everyone should be allowed to say whatever they feel. You know, for example, if you look at um, the BBI report as it is, they say it's a constitutional moment, which I don't believe. We have one of the best constitutions in, this, in the face of this world, or this earth, sorry. You know, and the problem with our constitution is the politician who has failed and this so-called constitutional moment they are claiming is meant to further try and right. one of the things that we see uh, for example they're talking about when um, one of the sweeteners mm -hmm. for the youth you know they'll talk about um, seven years grace period you don't pay tax. Mm -hmm. They'll talk about a youth commission. Mm -hmm. They'll talk about the help loan. Let me go straight into those three things. First and foremost, if you talk about the seven-year grace period, mm -hmm. they're talking about the tax won't be paid that particular time. Right. Most of the young men and women mm -hmm. who actually do business, mm -hmm. they don't do business that are registered. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. And if at all you want to put a grace period for tax for taxing, have you thought about capital? Because you can't have a business without capital. Mm -hmm. So you're going to tell me, I'll give you a grace period, you won't pay tax. Who has said that I have the capital to start that business? That's number one. Mm -hmm. Then number two, they'll tell you about a youth commission. Mm -hmm. I'll pose a question. So you'll have a youth commission. Six people nominated by the president, then they go through parliament. Mm -hmm. And then they say at least four should be youth. Mm -hmm. So two of them, God knows who. And according to Jubilee, Youth is relative mm -hmm. because youth in Jubilee, as we saw the other day, um, in uh, the president was saying uh, during the <laughs> day, right. he has tried to, he's trying to uh, give the young men and women mm -hmm. of opportunities. We just saw the other day uh, during uh, in parliament, he sent ambassadorial uh, nominees, mm -hmm. five people above 60 years old, and, that, oh, right. and, the, and the youngest was 49. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we are being told that they are here to take care of the youth, you know. No. I, I, want, I want you to hold on that thought. We will be dwelling deeper <laughs> into that because we, we have different feelings in regards to this. And of course, we will be looking into what really happened. Then we highlight a few things that were mentioned. Philip, w what stood out for you in that particular launch that has made you stand where you are with your decision? This is what I, I am for or I'm not for. Uh, first, I must begin by saying I was not swayed by, by the launch. Uh, I think uh, with the benefit of uh, perspicacity, I had seen right from the start that this was not a national uh, agenda. In as much as it was, uh, it was touted as a national agenda, a, a peace building and a uniting factor, this was a money affair uh, and a political affair between two people. Uh, incidentally, it turned out into what, what, what it is right now. So I, I think my, my views have... Uh, 
were set right from the beginning. But talking about the launch, uh, I think what was very unfortunate was that uh, this launch was an invite only uh, uh, you know meeting and those that were invited were those that played uh, the BBI uh, drum yet this was supposed to be an inclusive engagement it's a it's, it's a national document that has consumed over 25 billion shillings of taxpayers money the other bit that I found unfortunate is this that uh, all the speakers with the exception of, of, of the deputy president uh, was were, were lamping praises on the report uh, I, I think it was supposed to be a launch and it was supposed supposed to herald uh, a conversation. So if, if you have speakers who are praising the report and insisting uh, that that report must be praised uh, at all costs and it must go through at all costs, then I think we, uh, that, 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 that is a, a false start. Uh, but when uh, 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 my, my colleague has mentioned uh, how the, the, the remarks of the deputy president were, were received, uh, I think he was, he was the only one who was uh, uh, speaking a contrary view. And uh, he was almost booed. If he was not a strong man, I believe he would have, uh, he would have sat down. Uh, but he, he, he stood his ground and spoke. Uh, and I think he spoke the voice uh, of many Kenyans uh, who have questions on this BBI issue. And the way we have... Um, uh, taken contrary opinion uh, on the BBI aspect and uh, the referendum is is not something that we we should uh, continue doing as a nation because uh, if we want to give to ourselves a constitution that is holistic and uh, one that is inclusive then we must listen even to the contrary voice